Looking back at the most recent data, three significant trends leap out from the most recent data in the Indonesian energy system. First, in last year, in 2018, very strong growth in, in, in energy demand, far stronger than we've seen in the last 10 years, driven, I think, underlyingly by increasing prosperity. Strong growth in transportation demand, driving coal oil demand, and strong growth in power demand, uh, driving coal demand. The second feature is looking back over the last 10 years, is a shift in the fuel mix, with a strong growth in the share of coal at the expense of natural gas. Some of that reflects the competitiveness of coal, it's just cheaper, but I think some of it also reflects the constraints and the infrastructure of gas, which makes it harder to scale up very rapidly. The third feature is looking ahead. Prosperity in Indonesia has grown rapidly in the past and will continue to do so. As it does, power demand will grow, and how that growth in power demand is met, which fuels provide the extra generation, will have a very major impact on how that fuel mix changes over the next 10 or 15 years.